in this video we're going to have a look at adding some extra resources directly into your class team. So we're going to add them as tabs and we're going to look at adding a document, a website and an app of your choice. To do that, you need to use the channel structure within the teams. So I'm in my fourth grade team and I'm going to click on my general channel. You'll see at the top here, I've got posts and files that automatically appear, but I have this plus button, which lets me add a tab. So when I click on this one, it then brings up all these options. So there's a huge amount of apps here, which we can have a look at, but I'm going to add a link to a Word doc first up. So I'm going to click on Word. It lives near the top because I've already added it previously. And it automatically syncs to your files in OneDrive and then tries to pick out some sensible places in Teams that you may want to upload a doc from. There's also this option down the bottom which says post to channel about this tab. So that just posts a little message to the channel which says, hey, I've added a tab. I'll let you see what that looks like and I'll leave that box ticked. So I'm gonna jump into my files. So in my OneDrive, I've got this year planner mock document, which I'm gonna select and then I'm gonna click save. And now we should find that that Word doc embeds straight into our class team. So this now exists here and it will for all members of the team, they can click on that and they can open that. They don't have to go into files and then open the doc Every time they just click on the tab and it will automatically open and give them access, which is pretty cool. When I jump to the posts, I should hopefully see that down the bottom here, it says, hey, I've added a channel. So it's just letting everybody know that you've added a tab to the top of the channel. I'm gonna add a website now. And I'm actually gonna add a mathematical website. So I'm gonna to jump to my numeracy tab because that would be the most sensible place for this to be. Um, I'm gonna press plus again. And this time I'm gonna select the website option. I'm gonna type in the name of my website. It doesn't actually have to be the name of the website. It could just be what you want it to be called. So I'm going to link to MathSpot. I'm going to grab the URL from MathSpot from here. because I've already got it open. And I'm going to click Save. But I will untick this this time. And you'll see that now the website is embedded within Teams. So I now have a tab in my numeracy channel for this MathSpot website. And within that, I can just access all the content that I would if I was on the website through a tab and browser. So I can click in here, I can look at a four operations puzzle, for example, and we can see what that looks like within Teams, which is awesome. The last thing we want to show you is just how to add an app. So to do that, I'm gonna jump back to my general channel, I'm gonna press my add a tab from my top ribbon. And as you can see, there's a huge amount of choice in here so you pick the ones that you feel are going to be most advantageous for your teaching and for your class so maybe you're going to do a lot of video work so maybe we'll add Flipgrid so it comes in here it looks a bit like the app store kind of message that you get when you're installing apps on any device ask you about permissions gives you some suggestions but you just click on add up top here and we're gonna it will take you to the login page here so um when you're in here you would click on your educator login and then pop in your details and then it will automatically sync that to your page which is awesome i hope you found that useful i'm jim from using technology better thanks for listening